Hi everyone, it's Josh here from Josh's Reselling Adventures with another video for you. Uh, this time on a bank holiday Monday, I am going through all the stuff I bought at auction on Saturday. So I spent just under £400. Um, I completely filled my car, um, fit to bursting with stuff. And I'm going to go through absolutely everything I bought and show you um, what I think I will make a lot of money on and actually what turned out to be a completely stupid purchase. Because um, the thing I love about auctions, I've done, I've not done too many of them, um, but I've done a reasonable amount. And you can get some really good stuff, but you can also get really caught up in the, um, you know, in bidding wars. Impulse purchases are so easy to make. Um, but stuff is generally quite cheap. Um, I mean, I bought 28 lots for just under 400 quid. Um, and I will go through it with you. So I've got my um, list of stuff here on two pages. Um, I'll have to do quite a few cuts because I bought quite a few large items. Um, so I'll have to keep going and getting them. Um, but the first few things are next to me. And I'll try and do this in the order that I bought them in. Um, so you can see um, how it went. And oh yeah, and just to say, so with these, as people that go to auctions probably know, um, so there is a buyer's premium generally. Um, in this case, it's twelve percent, and then there's also VAT on the buyer's premium. So essentially, for every ten pounds you spent on an actual item, um, the buyer's premium is one pound twenty, and then the VAT on that's twenty four p. So a ten pounds is actually. £11.44, um, so just for reference. Um, so the first thing I bought was this old sign. Um, so it's an old, I think it's an old, um, well, it's metal, I don't know if it's enamel or anything, Wayborne Bowls Club. It's quite battered, but to be honest, with these sorts of signs, that's all character. Um, so this was tenor, or a tenor, sorry, not tenor. Um, but people seem to love this stuff. I've got no idea because obviously... It's quite a specific item, Wayborn Bowls Club iron sign, um, but I'm sure I'll be able to get more than the tenner for it. I think I'll probably shoot for around sort of 40 or 50 on that, he says, with absolutely no idea. Um, yeah, I've got no idea, to be honest. Um, so the next lot, which was also tenner. Um, so I didn't really want this, if I'm honest with you. So it was a bit of a strange one. Vintage wooden rocking horse and action man figures. So, the rocking horse is sort of surplus to requirements. It's a little bit battered, but it's quite cute. I can't find a maker's sort of name on this at all. Um, it's got Robin Stokes underneath, but that's the person who owned it before, I think. Um, so, what I'll probably try and do... Oh. Once I've got that down, is put that on Facebook, because I can't be bothered sending that. I'll probably put that on Facebook, try and get 20 quid for that. Um, but I got, there was some sort of action men and sort of mar a couple of Marvel figures. Nothing great, and these are filthy, so they'll need a, they will need a clean. Um, but you've got the Joker, quite a, it's quite a big one actually. I think it might be, I think I might be 18 inches tall, um, but he's poseable. Um, you've got Spider-Man, also poseable. I can't find this one on eBay, but similar sort of Spider-Man poseable figures seem to go for um, anywhere in the region of like 8 to 10 quid. Um, and then some Action Men, also incredibly dirty. Um, I don't know what they did to these. So you've got, can't remember his name, but I remember when I had um, Action Men before. Um, I remember him. Um, so he's got a thing in his back. I don't, ooh, very nice. Um You've got an incredibly <laughs> half a mu uh, he looks like he's actually mummified. God, I don't know what these people are doing to him. Obviously, he's not got his clothes on. He's got some cardboard taped around his legs, so I've got no idea why. Um, and then a couple in their outfits also caked in mud. I don't know what was... So, yeah, so that one wasn't amazing, to be honest. I mean, Joker and Spider-Man, I should get a bit back, and it might get a 10 to 15 for the action men sort of all together. Not amazing, but... I think, I don't know, I always get really worried that I'm going to run out of stock, even though actually things are selling terribly this weekend, so I probably won't anytime soon. But I just, uh, I wanted to make the most of the opportunity to buy it. Um, so next, forgive me as I come out of you, so I'm going to move the pelvis because I bought that later. So this was my first sort of mistake, I think. So at the, um, so essentially at the auction there were they were all spread out um across the day but there were some anatomical sort of 
I think I don't know what to call them anatomical uh, things. Um, so you know bone structures, things like that that they use for medical students. Uh, students and um, Adam Ruley or Ruley is a really expensive make of them. Now this is my fault for not doing my research, but all of these things were listed as being Adam Ruley, um, but it was actually only the spines that I didn't get that were so. I've overpaid for these. I will get my money back, I think, but I won't make quite as much as I was expecting. So the first lot, I did pay £32 for, which is a bit over the top. Um, so, yeah, so like I said, this this is a bit of a dud. Well, not a dud, but not amazing. Um, so you've got the vertebral column, which has got a shoelace attached to it. Um, might aim for sort of 30 on that got a um now i don't know <laughs> my pronunciation is not good but it's a a gaggy <laughs> um but you've got that um which i think was originally a volta roll thing and then i have honestly me in the human body i don't know i don't know what this is but i got that as well so yes yeah, so to be honest i will probably just about break even on that because I got so excited thinking that that was something it wasn't. So, yeah. Um, and that was actually one of the most expensive things I bought all day. Um, right, so this is a challenge... Uh, what is it? Is it whoa, dear, I'm already breaking stuff. Um, so this is a challenge A2 drawing board. So this is boxed. It has been used, but very, very lightly by the looks of things, because there isn't much wear on it. So that's the back. Um, and then, whoops, it's upside down. And then you can see... Um, I remember using these in uh, graphics in school. Um, but this is this is ten pounds. These seem to go for. I mean, sold. I've seen sort of thirty five, forty plus postage. So probably aim for about fifty. All in on that, um, which was good. And then another random purchase. Well, I have no idea what I'm doing. If I'm all honest, if I'm honest with you. So we've got. So this was. Quantity of RC planes and helicopters. Uh, and I haven't actually researched these yet. I've probably wasted my money from actually opening this for the first time on the video. Oh, okay. It is pretty much all there. That's just... Wow. I was expecting this to be incomplete. Um, so we've got Airhog's RC Defender. Which, as I say, actually, is all there. Um, because I tend to assume with these um, that unless specified otherwise it will be incomplete and then there was a couple of other bits and pieces um, I know nothing about RC planes um, but another reason I do this stuff is because I love to learn about things and I think this is the best way just to buy it as opposed to um, you know wishing you had bought it so we've got uh, f I no idea this looks like it is missing some pieces but fly dragonfly 2005 rc plane there is a uh god i've even forgot what they're called a control pad for want of a better word and then there's another just a little uh, wreck by the looks of things um yeah so i have no idea who knows um i think that was it hang on sorry i'm just digging through yeah, because the rest of it was part of another lot. Um, yeah, so that probably isn't amazing either. Um, and then lastly, I'll, then I'll have to make a cut on the video. Got this yellow angled lamp. Now this one isn't an angle poise. Um, I do, I did get an angle poise later on. I think this one was actually from B and Q originally. I might pull that label off. Um, but to be honest, this sort of stuff is really in. Um, I would love this. Um, so I paid a tenner for this. I will aim for sort of 30 to 40. See what you get, really. Um, but it's nice it fully working, which is great. Okay, uh, right. So um, the next lot was a sort of bundle of sealed toys. So there were six items in total. I paid £10 for these. Um, so... I'll start off with the sort of run-of-the-mill stuff, and there was a reason why I got it. Still not amazing money, but, you know, something to be on the lookout for. So so the first thing was a um, Lord of the Rings figure set, Soldiers and Scenes. It had uh, Merry Gandalf and Pippin. 
So that seems to be about, I think I've stuck that on for 13. Um, this isn't really worth anything. Star Wars, a tactics starter set. Uh, I looked it up. A tactics, I'd never heard of it, was a sort of a game from about 2006. And I don't think any, I don't think it was very popular and thus, uh, no one seems to want these. Um, another Star Wars thing, uh, Star Wars Galactic Heroes, which has Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. Um, I think that's about a tenner. It's got two potato heads, um, two themed ones. So we've got R2 Potato, which I absolutely love, um, and Spider Spud, who seems to be about 20 quid. Um, so that was good. But lastly, and the reason I picked this up, as I say, it's not huge money, but there's, there's Pingu is something to be on the lookout for. Um, you can't go wrong with Pingu stuff. As someone that loves Pingu, I have watched every single episode, don't tell anyone, um, it's actually really valuable. People want Pingu stuff. I don't, I don't think much of it was made, which is why. Um, but, so I think there was a limit, because this was 1992, um, but even individually, sort of on their own, these figures, without, you know, um, no packaging or anything used, will go for about 5 to £10 each, generally. Because um, I got a Pingu, a big Pingu plush from a car boot the other day, um, paid a pound for him, and I actually sell for 50 quid. Um, it's crazy. Um, so Pingu fans are, um, yeah, they will pay big money for that little guy. Um, the next thing, and I think I overpaid for this, um, as I will probably say quite a lot, um, but to be honest, this is a hobby for me. I mean, I do this to earn a bit of money on the side. Um, but I do have a full-time job. And to be honest, part of the joy for me is seeing stuff like this that I would never touch. As in, you know, you'd never have this pass through your hands in general day-to-day -day life. So we've got a, and I will struggle to display this well for the camera, we have a Masonic case. So this belonged to the, I think it was a lodge in Cardiff. Hang on, let me just dig the right thing out. It's got a little bag in here. So, yeah, so this, this lodge, hang on, I think I might have lost something from here. Um, but essentially, it's got the, um, like a, oh, that isn't the pages falling out. Um, so you've got the, so it's Freemasons uh, lodge, so you've got the main, the main book with all what you can and can't do, um, absolutely everything. So, for example, it costs um, £2 to register a Mason, inclusive of the Grand Lodge certificate in a London lodge. Um, you know, hundreds of bylaws, um, and then more by I think bylaws for the specific lodge. And then lastly, the I don't know what you actually call these. I think it's a sash. And to be honest, I didn't realise this was. <laughs> it's a bit mouldy. Um, I think this will clean up because it's actually quite a funny material. So ignore, ignore the mould on it because I will try and clean that up. But it's got. Um, yeah, I, I don't actually know what it's called, so I'll call it a sash for the purposes of this. But I'm sure they wear that at some point. But I thought that was so cool. I mean. How, you know, how would you come about this stuff if you didn't, you know, get it at auctions or things like that? Love it. So that is that. Um, whoops. What was next? Yeah, another thing. <laughs> another thing I overpaid on. Um, so I, I won't, yeah, I won't lose any money on this, but I don't think I really make much money. Um, but it was cool to look through them anyway. Um, so you have, there's not supposed to be four of these, but. I might have lost one. Um, so this was ten pounds. Um, it's some Speedway stuff. Um, so Speedway, oops, three Speedway programs, nineteen ninety five and ninety six. And then where was this? Oh, another bit of nineteen ninety five as well. There was meant to be four, and I'm sure there was four, but I put it somewhere. And then the first book of British Speedway. Um, Yes, so I won't be making much money on that. And in fact, I didn't want it. I just bid on it, which is a you know not a great thing to do. Do do do. Yes. Yeah, so the right. So the other anatomical parts that I sort of wish I hadn't bought. Um, so these pelvises were twenty two pounds for the two. So this I don't know. I think I should get sort of thirty quid each. Um, yeah, I thought they were. I thought they were the more expensive ones, like I said, which is why I bought the other parts, and it's why I bought these. But I can say that I've owned not one, but two pelvises. So I'm clearly going somewhere in life.
aren't they? Yes. Um, yeah, so that is them, and I actually even think this one's broken. Oh, my God. Yeah. They're, they're, I did actually get some good stuff, but I think it's all towards the end. Um, yeah, so that are the pelvises. I don't know if there's a plural for pelvises. Um, so this was a good one. Um, so I paid, you guessed it, £10 for a tub of pin badges. So some of these I can't sell on eBay, and I will show you why in a sec. Um, so we've got, so firstly, um, lots of pins from the women's, sec women's section of the Royal British Legion. So they're, they're all pretty much the same, so I won't show you all of them. Um, but look, there's about eight or nine of these. Um, they're both the same. And then... Yeah, so they're quite interesting. I think I've stuck a lot of those for 35. But, and this is controversial. Um, well, obviously you can't sell them on eBay. But I do, this was a, I'll have to find some sort of site to um, sell these to. Um, because there are a lot of people that still collect these. Um, but lots of golly um, pin badges. So there's 13 um, sort of golly badges in there. Um so, I mean, say, you know, I know it's a controversial thing, um, and I know they are, um, you, you can't sell them because they're considered to be, um, you know, racist. But I do, uh, you know, they will they will sell to a private collector, I imagine, for a reason, um, which is um, which is good. Yeah, so, um, so I thought that was, to, for, for a tenor, that was the first kind of thing that once I got home and thought, actually, no, that's really good. Um, so I've got a good, a good buy there. And another impulse buy, um, which hopefully will prove quite fruitful. I won't show you all of these because it's incredibly boring. Um, I don't, I'm not religious. I do not tend to touch anything religious purely because I don't know anything about it. But I bought a big lot of religious books for four pounds. Um, so nothing amazing but i think there are some things in here that will bundle up quite well so there's like two set i don't know who owned these but there's two sets of sort of hardback books like these um and i've done a couple of bundles of those there's this bible that seems to sell for about 20 pounds um it's a leather leather backed one um Sorry, I'm told in that, but you can see it. So that seems to sell for about 20 quid. And then there's a couple of other things, um, quite some Mormon stuff. Uh, the Book of Mormon in Tagalog that I thought was quite interesting. Um, and then some other books that are bundled together. Um, but for a 10, uh, sorry, no, for four pounds, I thought that was, I thought that was good. Um, so I should make a fair bit of money out of those. And then I don't know what on earth I bought this for. And it was the thing that nearly stopped me being able to get all this stuff in the car. Um, Oh, it absolutely stinks. Ugh. It's a photo enlarger. It's very heavy. It's covered in the gunk that came in it. Um, it was £4. I don't know anything about it. They don't seem to be worth a huge amount. Regretful buy, yes. But I should make a small amount of money on it, at least. Um, right, so that's that lot, and then I'll have to um, pause and swap the stuff over again. Okay, so next was a box of bric-a-brac. Um, these are my favourite things in the world to buy. Um, the only problem is you do get saddled with junk as well. Um, but this particular box of bric-a-brac was £4. Um, normally at auctions, this sort of stuff goes for so cheap because people don't want to bother with trying to, you know, get rid of the stuff that isn't um, worth selling. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I paid £4 for this. The reason I paid £4 was because there was, although the shrink wrap's starting to perish now, um, five sealed videos, um, or bl oops, blank videos. Um, so they will, you know, may obviously make the money back and more. There's a couple of other nice bits in there. Um, so there was this... Um, candlestick holder whoa dear um i forgot they weren't um attached in so though is uh, it's lanthe l-a-n-t-h-e so made in england i looked this up i think i should get about 15 pounds for this uh, as long as i don't throw it all over the floor again um so actually i really like that um we've got this now it's grim at the moment because it hasn't been cleaned but this enamel I think it's a bread bin. Um, 
Oh yeah, it's actually wet inside at the moment. Um, but that, I think it's really nice actually. Yeah, once it's been cleaned up, um, it should get a reasonable amount of that. And then, oh uh, god, these might not be worth anything at all if I'm honest. Um, they probably aren't. So just to say, I'm not sure if they're. Re I don't know if they're real. But there's <laughs> a, it's a box of rocks. Um, so I don't know if I can. No, I can't really hold that without it falling over. Um, but, I mean, I don't know if... This might just be a touristy souvenir, to be honest. Um, you know, a few bits of conch, conch shell. Um, but I don't know, I'll look them up. To be honest, they won't owe me anything at all, so whatever I get for them is fair game. Um, right, so then we had an Xbox 360 console with a couple of accessories. You know what an Xbox looks like, so I won't hold that up, but... It did come with this remote, which isn't worth very much. A wireless network adapter and a three uh, unused three month um, Xbox Live card. That was a tenner, which was quite good. Um, I don't know. I don't have a. Unfortunately, and annoyingly, I passed one at a car boot yesterday, and I didn't get it. But I don't know how much the uh, chargers uh, cost now. Um, but. I don't, I don't, I'm assuming the console has the red rings, but to be honest, um, that was pretty decent with the live card and the um, the, um, the network adapter. Yes. <laughs> I can find my words eventually. Um, right, so then we had not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six of these. Now, I don't know what on earth anyone was doing with six of these, to be honest. Um, now, they might... I think I need to get a few spares for them. Um, but this one... Now, I have to admit, I haven't counted the cards yet. But this one is complete on glance. Um, so, we've got all of the... Um, you know, all of the inserts. And then, I don't really want to hold this up. Just in case it falls everywhere. But as you can see... That one, where uh, <laughs> that one has, or it looks like it has all the bits. As I say, I need to count the cards up. Um, but yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think if one of these, oh no, it's missing one, one, one solitary counter, um, a green one. But spares are, you know, I've seen they sell spares on eBay, and to be honest, one complete one should, you know, just about pay for the whole lot there. So they were, th I was expecting them to go for more. So it's thirty quid for the uh, for the six. Um, yeah. So we had for ten pounds five of these um, Stuart kitchen garden propagators. They're new. They were cheap. They're worth more than two pounds each. They're uh, not particularly interesting. Um, all right, now this I'm really going to struggle to get into, and it's quite fragile. Um, well, it feels it anyway. This is a lovely angle poise. Um, I looked it up to find what model it is and I found it and I can't remember what it is now um, but they seem to sell for about 80 quid um, plus postage it's beautiful I would love to keep this for myself but I don't and I just love because I've never actually yeah I admire in fact my, my day job is to do with lamps um, so I I know a lot about well I know more angle poise but I, I didn't they just, they feel like they're going to flop down the way you move them. Sorry, it's flopping because it's on my leg. But they hold their position amazingly. Um, so, yeah, so that is going to be a regretful sale, unfortunately. And then lastly, that I can reach, I think, for this. Um, this might have also been a waste of money. And to be honest, I'm probably not going to be able to show you. Um, so this is, so this cost me £6. And yeah, it is a job lot of yeah. I think I think this was a bit of a <laughs> this. Was, I'm gonna just replace this with this. This is a miss. It's a job lot of um, like air, I think made Airfix models that have now been smashed. <laughs> um, yeah, so every one of these is broken. <laughs> every one of these is broken, but this one is probably one of the most intact. So I'll show you this. It won't make me look quite as bad. Um, I've got no idea if these are worth anything, even complete. Um, but there are a lot of bits sort of in there. I don't, but unfortunately, all of them have like got bits sheared off. Um, yeah. 
whatever. Right, so the next thing, um, right, so this was eight pounds. There was a telephone with this, but I actually bro I broke it on the, on trying to get it into the car. Um, so essentially there's three things for eight pounds. So there was this, which is beautiful. A thermos, so I haven't done the, I haven't done the lid up, but a thermos vacuum vessel. Um, so it's like a flask, but it's got a big, um, like wooden, or a cork. Um, to seal it, um, so that's pretty cool. I th I've looked them up. Um, I haven't looked at sold prices, but I saw one on there for a reasonable amount, so that should recoup it alone. Um, we've got this nice old rusty. I think this is Aladdin pink, and I don't. I can't remember if this was oil or milk. I think it was oil, um, but th these sorts of things sell decently. Um, and then something I don't really know about. This is under loads of stuff. When I'm quite glad I didn't make anything go. Um, but this old sort of hard suitcase, um, so it's a bit, it is rusty to be honest, um, but it's quite nice ignoring all the bits of broken stuff in there that weren't the, um, you know, they're not part of the suitcase. Um, so I don't really know on that, that, that might not be worth anything, but, um, sorry, it's just a car pulled up outside, I just wasn't sure if it was something for me. Um, yeah, so I think that was worth it for eight quid. So the next one, I forayed into something that I never ever touch, which is brass and pewter. So I spent four pounds, and so there was a couple of bits in there that aren't, um, well, I can't really find much about. Um, there was a set of these, so I've only got a couple of them. There's a few other little bits, but these were. Let me just remind myself. So, so craftsman pewter. Um, so there's a teapot, another pot. I don't know what. Um, then a couple of other little bits as well. Um, I think the set that, or the bits that I have, I should get about 20, 25 quid for. But I didn't see these when I was looking. Now, you'll have to ignore because they've got wax all over them. Um, so they do need a bit of a clean up. But a pair of um, candlestick holders by Weinberg Israel. So these are cool. These are really cool. Now, a pair of these sold in America on auction for about 70 quid plus postage. They were in a bit better nick than these. I think you can see there was colour on there where there no, there no longer is. Um, but once cleaned up, um, because obviously wax has dripped down them, should aim for quite high on them, to be honest. So that is, I'm going to buy every single bit of pewter and brass I see and then get disappointed, essentially. That's how it works. Isn't it? You do well once and you buy loads of other stuff expecting to find a gem and then you never find a gem again. Um, okay, the next thing, another really cool thing. So this was a great buy. Um, and I actually thought I was bidding on something else. Um, there was another, or, uh, there was another lot, um, which I thought I was bidding on and it turned out not to be the one. Um, so we have 15 of these emergency escape hoods. That messed my hair up. Um, so these are, I can't remember the brand. Hang on, let me just pull one out. Nope. Ah. Okay, I can't get it out. Um, anyway, they are evacuate, they are evacuation, um, ex-police. So they used to, obviously, I don't think they're obviously not police anymore, but they, um, ex-police evacuation masks. Um, they're all expired. But, however, there is someone selling them. Uh, this will be a slow burn, to be honest. There's someone selling them, I think, at £14 plus postage each. Um, and they have sold some for that. So you pay £7 to get 15 new ones. Obviously, that one's been taken out of the packaging. But as you can see, like none of these kits have been opened. That was a great buy. I should bid on stuff all the time and think it's... Um, uh, when it's something I think it is. Because, to be honest, the stuff that I bought, taking a punt is better than the stuff that I have researched. Um, okay, yeah, another thing, a pun, I'm not even going to pick these up um, because I can't be bothered. Train books, a waste of money, £5. I thought if there was one book in there that was rare, um, so book, you know, books about trains, um, and just to give you an example, um, no, obviously not. There are a couple that are worth a few quid, but... So, you know, a, a big box of these sorts of things, they're all terrible. I think I'm just going to take them to the charity shop. Um, yeah, that's a shame. Pure Tone, guitar, 
Um, four pounds should get about 30 quid for that. Oh, I like this one. Uh, I'm just going to have to stand over the camera to get it. A big box of blank CDs. So, you've got some DVD rewritables. But then, and I haven't counted them, but there are loads. There must be about 50 recordable CDs individually sealed in there, um, which is great. There's a couple of other sort of odd ones, like DVD, RAM. Um, but, yeah, so but the majority in here are um, like TDK. There's two different types. There's, um, well, I imagine it. Oh no, they're but they're all the same. They're just different different packaging. Um, but yeah, there's about fifty or sixty of those in there. Um, for four pounds, that was good. I'm gonna have to balance them on there and hope they don't fall off. Uh, yeah, and then so last two things um, because this has been an incredibly long video. Um, this is a personal buy. Um, I paid quite a bit for this in comparison to what it's worth. To be honest, um, this is so cool. Um, so it's no entry, I use Google Translate, it's like no entry electric device or, you know, danger of electrocution or something like that. Um, I've got a couple of old enamel signs from auctions to and put around the house. I paid £24 for that. So that, that's, that's almost eBay prices, to be honest, but there's obviously someone else that wanted it as well, but I got it. Uh -huh. Um, and then possibly my favourite lot of the day, um, and the most expensive one, but only just... Yee! Okay, that's all gone everywhere. So, I don't know how much these are worth, but I'm going to assume that they are worth more than I paid for them. Um, so, it's a huge job lot of, believe to be, 1970s dressmaker button samples, or sample books. So, there's a couple of brands here. So, you've got a few... And this one's been cut up, so this isn't the best thing to show you first, because you probably won't think it's any good if I show you this, but a Hugo Darm, which appears to be a German one. But then there's stacks of... Now, the brand is Kiyohara from Japan. Um, but there are stacks of these, and they are old because they smell old. Um, <laughs> yeah, I said that. Um, but they are amazing. There's so, there's so many, so I'll just show you a few. I won't go through all of them. Um, but these, I don't even know where to begin. There's one missing off this one, which is a shame. Um, you know, but there's some really cool ones in the salad. Let's just play through. You know, there's stats. There must be sort of 20 odd sheets of those, which is great. Um, and then you've got, just to show you a couple of things, there are a few Hugo Darm ones that are on their full board. This is possibly my favourite. So, bakery buttons. So cool. And then lastly, um, these aren't very nice, but I just get the feeling this is worth quite a bit of money. Um, so, Vogue Star. So, there's a huge sample book of all of their buttons. I'm going to try and do this without bending it too much because I've got a feeling it'll break. Um, I need to have a better way of displaying stuff like this. But you've got page after page of buttons in different shades. So that lot was 38 quid. Um, and I thought that was great. I don't have a clue how much I will get for those, but it's got to be more than that. Surely. Um, yeah, so that was my favourite. And then the other thing I bought, um, which I'm not going to show you because it's plugged in, I got a Samsung laser printer plus an official Samsung toner um, for 15 quid, um, which I'm now going to use for my um, just printing labels because I don't have an actual label printer. Um, yeah, so that was a long video, um, but I hope you enjoyed it because I did get... Uh, I, the reason I wanted to show you everything was because it's such a mixed bag, so much stuff. Um, like I said, some stuff I won't make much if money on, if at all, um, but some stuff that I should do really well on. Um, and most of all, it's fun. Um, I get to share it with other people, and yeah, hopefully we'll make a bit of money out of it. So if you enjoyed that, um, 
if you're still watching now, which I don't imagine many people have made it to the end, um, please, you know, like and subscribe because I will do try and do more of these. Um, and also like eBay sales videos sort of round up every couple of weeks or so. Yeah. So thank